The most significant one is that when a Tesla vehicle is fully autonomous, it has an accident per 3.2 million miles compared to an accident every 500,000 miles for the average automobile on the road. All right, Kathy, good afternoon. Uh, this is John Ford. Just to be clear, did you mention a price of $2,000? We believe that uh, the worldwide robo taxi opportunity will generate eight to $10 trillion in revenue by 2030. Target Tesla is currently trading for less than $200 per share. So even if you were to 10 X that, that would be an over $5 trillion market cap. The CEO and founder of Arc Investments, Kathy Wood, uh, stated early this year that she was bullish on Tesla stock, even during the stock's recent decline. In December of last year, Wood predicted that Tesla shares would reach $1,500 by 2027, uh, more than tenfold increase. Uh, shortly after ARK Investments analyst Tasha Keeney tweeted that the firm's price target for Tesla uh, would be approximately $500 per share. Based on this forecast, investor analysts expect the stock to trade above $300 in 2025, the price of ARC's 2026 Tesla stock is not too far away. Target note that Dakini states that ARC's projected 2026 price target of $500 per share for Tesla is solely on the company's electric vehicle business. The estimate has been modified to account for the August 2022 implementation of the three for one stock split. Keen stated that the company is eliminating ride hailing services in any form and autonomous driving from the assessment process. According to the firm, over the next five years, these two elements will account for approximately six eight for our Tesla's value. Um, Keeney added, we believe that autonomous driving in any form of ride hail will drive more than 60% of Tesla's value over the next five years, our 2026 price, 500 per share. Projection is more than a fourfold gain from the stock's present levels. Target will climb by more than four times from the current price to almost $500 per share after the split based only on EVs. ARC Finance CFA referring to Keeney's post about ARC Invest Director of Research Autonomous Technologies. Is that robotics? Tasha Keeney stated in a tweet early in January. Uh, Sam Cora stated that the firm should be in a good position to weather any cyclical slowdown for automakers because of its superior drivetrain efficiency and affordable batteries, as it has in the past. It can also be the first to decrease costs, which puts pressure on other lawmakers. He added, concurring with the analyst opinions, our Invest CEO, Kathy Wood, stated in an interview that EVs offer a huge opportunity and that Tesla does not require autonomous ride hailing for success. Wood also explained the pricing of the ARC, which is $1,500. Our $1,500 price objective for Tesla is currently little over $200. But due to autonomous said Wood, our $1,500 price target in five years will be two thirds higher. She even cited by claiming that the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, Xpeng, has never discussed the autonomous strategy. However, she added, from a unit volume perspective, they are far behind Biden, Tesla explained Wood. So that's how we're looking at the world right now. The companies that will succeed, in my opinion, are not just focused on electric drivetrain strategies. Okay, um, but also on autonomous vehicles, according to Wood, this means that these companies are concentrating on three of ARC's primary innovation platform. First, robotics, which involves autonomous vehicles. Second, energy storage, which involves electric vehicles because the total cost of ownership for electric vehicles is currently lower than that of gas-powered vehicles. And third, artificial intelligence, according to Wood, these three main platforms will be powered by artificial intelligence to power autonomous electric vehicles. And we think that Tesla is from a thought leadership perspective. Okay, um, spearheading this movement towards autonomous vehicles. As you're all aware, Tesla is the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, having delivered 1.3 million cars globally in 2022 and holding a 65% market share in the US alone, even though the competition is getting stronger. Musk thinks Tesla can build 20 million cars annually by 2030. So the firm may just be getting warmed up. Not only is this a financial opportunity in and of itself, but Tesla is also a leading developer of autonomous self-driving software, which paves the way for the company's ambitious plan to build a fleet of autonomous taxis scheduled for release in 2024. 
Musk spoke broadly about the potential for fully autonomous cars to create more value than anything in history during the company's Q4 2022 earnings call, a sentiment echoed by our admittedly optimistic predictions for the autonomous ride. Hailing industry, the company predicts that any fully autonomous Tesla car on the road could bring in $20,000 in revenue annually by carrying passengers without the need for human intervention. Arc Invest believes that autonomous ride hailing will generate $4 trillion in value by 2027 and generate $4 trillion in revenue annually for the industry. It is noteworthy that Arc Invest estimates that employing autonomous taxes could cost as little as 25 cents per mile, meaning that they could displace 60 of short haul flights due to affordability. Uh, this presents a significant opportunity for Tesla, which currently has about 2.7 million cars on the road, collecting data for its self-driving models 10 times more than its closest competitor. Bring to Arkinvest, Tesla's position at the forefront of cutting edge technology naturally aligns with Kathy Wood and her firm known for its focus on innovative companies capable of upending established business models. Because of Wood's unwavering faith in Tesla, Ark Invest holds a sizable portion of the company in Tesla. It didn't escape notice, however, when Ark sold off some of its shares of the company a few weeks ago. In fact, Ark Invest exchange traded funds or ETF sold off about $21 million of the stock just hours before Tesla announced its second quarter earnings and the subsequent decline in its share price that began in July and ended a few days ago. Investment from Kathy Woods, Ark spilled more according to the daily trade disclosures at ARC post on its website, the ARC innovation had sold 72,631 shares of Tesla, while the ARC autonomous technology and robotics have sold 3,794 shares last week. The sales were valued at $18.8 million based on the closing price of 245.34 at the time. And the following day, ARC sold 31,749 Tesla shares. The disposal would have brought ARC a total of based on Tesla's closing price of $242, 65 cents for the day last week alone. Kathy Wood's firm sold a stake in the company worth $26, 45 cents million. It should be noted that ARC's funds have been selling Tesla shares on a sporadic basis this year, including at different times uh, in June and July. In fact, since June 12th, 915, 565 shares have been sold overall. Although it doesn't seem to be true now, who knows? It's also important to note that Woods Arc has a habit of buying its key portfolio stocks when they go down and selling them when they rise. However, Arc's recent Tesla T raids have not followed this pattern. Wood has previously hinted that her fund sells Tesla and uses the proceeds to buy stocks that are undervalued, referring to this as a capital allocation strategy. Uh, despite the dip, Tesla is still up about 100 for the year. With a portfolio weighting of 10.67%, Tesla is the position in the majority of ARCDFs from which it is excluded. Uh, additionally, the stock is a high holding in the flagship ARC fund. Despite her recent sell off of Tesla shares, Kathy Wood remains a staunch Tesla supporter, primarily because she thinks that EVZ is the place to be. Wood clarified that it appears that owning an electric car will already cost less overall than driving a gas powered car. Wood thinks that this will help explain why sales of electric vehicles increased globally last year. I think they were up 62 or 64%, while sales of gas-powered vehicles decreased globally by roughly 7%. Who for the first stated that this indicates that the move toward electric vehicles is already underway. Consumers desire electric vehicles. The total cost of ownership is lower, according to Wood, who also stated that there were 7.7 .7 million electric vehicles sold globally last year. I mean, she predicted that number to reach 60 million in the next five years. However, Wood noted that electric vehicles are not the whole story here. In fact, from our perspective, Tesla's autonomous strategy, which prioritizes autonomous taxi platforms, is far more important than its approach to selling electric vehicles. Now, whether Wood continues to trade Tesla shares remains to be seen. Uh, but based on her prior remarks, despite her occasional sales of Tesla holdings.